Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Yo, what's shaking? Once again, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. First of all, peace and blessings to everyone who is celebrating this holy month of Ramadan, the holiest month in Islam. Um, peace and blessings to you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Ramadan Mubarak. Now I got a question for you. What is the most important attribute that any man or woman can possess in this world. I want you to think about it and then we're going to talk about it. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. 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 I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of So what is the most important attribute that a man or woman can possess anywhere in this world, in any religion or faith or belief system, any society, anywhere in this world? The answer is simply discipline. Discipline is the most important attribute. But what about, what about, you know, respect? What about trust, Cab? Is it not more important? What about uh, ability to make money? What about the ability to um, love someone? Or, you know, what, what else? If you're someone who possesses discipline and practices discipline, you will attract all of those things by default. Discipline is the ability to be self-accountable for your thoughts and actions. Okay, so if you have discipline, you will receive respect from everyone. Even if people don't like you, they'll respect you because they know that you're you're um, willing to do whatever it takes to get the best results in your life and, and become the best version of yourself. You're in control of your whims. You're in control of your desires. You know how to separate your needs from your wants and desires. You know how to separate um, what's important from what's petty. This is the self-discipline. So... Instead of you going out and buying the newest fad or keeping up with the Joneses with, you know, whatever thing that you want to go treat yourself with because you feel you deserve it. You know that that money will be better used on something you need. OK, or something that someone that you're responsible for needs. That is discipline. And that's why it's respectable. So again, the ability to love someone or be loved or be trusted or trust someone or be respected or respect people, uh, the ability to make money. If you're not disciplined, you can't get up in the morning to even get a, get a job and hold a job. Uh, discipline is keeping, is holding on to a job when it's hard. Discipline is waking up in the morning when you're tired because you have to. Discipline is going to the gym and busting your ass in there for an hour because you want the results, right? Discipline is um, curbing your appetite when you are hungry and want to eat, which is where fasting comes in. And this is where uh, the holy month of Ramadan comes in and why I'm discussing this on this confessions. Uh, some of you might ask, well, what is this? What does Ramadan have to do with the lifestyle of crushed grapes? Well, crushed grapes lifestyle is the lifestyle of enjoying life as you should know by now. But part of the enjoyment of life is discipline because it takes discipline in order to do anything that I do and to do anything that has to do with enjoying my life and enjoying your life. 
You can't be lazy and unproductive and have a fulfilling life, <laughs> okay? You can't be unhealthy and have a fulfilling life. You can't be um, mentally, spiritually, and physically unhealthy or imbalanced and have a life of fulfillment, okay? Discipline guarantees that you'll have everything that you need in life. And you'll also have most of what you want because as long as you're disciplined, you'll always be moving forward. So it's really comes down to how much discipline you have. Uh, sky is really the limit for you if you're a disciplined person because um, there is no limit to what you can achieve with the proper discipline. Now in this holy month of Ramadan, um, if you are fasting, you are, you are not eating between sunup and sundown or drinking anything. You're abstaining from sex. You're abstaining from alcohol. You're abstaining from smoking. Um, you're abstaining from negative thoughts, arguments. Um, you are abstaining from just overall selfishness and you are giving more charity. You are thinking more positively. You are um, being more selfless. You're doing as much as you can do to be the best version of yourself, to be a good human being. And uh, that's where the blessings come in. During this month, the blessings are multiplied. So um, you're also doing this with millions and millions of people as uh, there are more Muslims in this world than any other group uh, or faith-based group. So even if you don't call yourself a Muslim or don't follow Islam, um, fasting during Ramadan is very beneficial to any, all of us because it's a time where a lot, like millions of people doing it at the same time. And if your goal is to lose a few extra pounds, you will. You, you'll be eating less. If your goal is to get is to cleanse your body, you will because fasting cleanses your body. If your goal is to cleanse your mind, you will because fasting cleanses your mind. If your goal is to cleanse your spirit, you will because fasting also cleanses your spirit. There's just so many different benefits to it. You'll be more productive because you'll be less um, involved and distracted by nonsense and foolishness. You'll be more um, focused on the things that really matter. Because if you can go without food all day and drink all day and sex all day and um, negative thoughts all day and smoking, whatever your vice is off, you can go without your vices all day, but you can also go without food and drink which are two of the necessities, then you can, you can accomplish anything. Anything at all in life. But you got to have the discipline. So we all know signs of people who are disciplined, right? We all know those signs. You know, um, you can see the people, people that are at the gym, um, you know, multiple times a week. That's a discipline. People who pray, Five times a day, that's a discipline. Uh, whether they want to do it or not, whether it's hard or not, that's a discipline. So the people who are not disciplined or undisciplined are very easy to spot. These are the people that say things like, well, that's, well, it's not easy for me to do. Or, you know, that's, that's, that's too hard. Or... Uh, they just make excuses about everything. There's always a reason why they can't accomplish something. Um, it, it all comes down to lack of discipline. These are the people you want to stay away from if you are a person who is trying to uh, get your to strengthen your discipline. Because these people will just knock you off your, your box. Because what they're going to do is while you're trying to get your discipline strong, they're going to 
shame you and, and guilt you. And they're going to try to, t well, you think you're better than everyone because you have these standards for yourself. And you think you're better than everyone because you're trying to do better for yourself. And you've set certain standards and boundaries and goals. So because I'm not able to do that or I'm not interested in doing that, then that means to me that you feel you're better than me. See, these types of people, you have to leave, you have to just leave them where they are and let them be who they are. You have to become who you are trying to become. You have to discipline yourself. Like I said, it doesn't matter what happens with them. They're going to respect you because you were strong and you disciplined yourself and became the best version of yourself. That's it. They're going to also trust your word because you're, you've proven that you're, you, you can do and you will do what you say you're going to do because you're disciplined. Furthermore, not having discipline, lacking discipline, will disqualify you from being around people with discipline. Because people with discipline do not want to associate or be around or share their time, energy, and resources with people who are undisciplined. Because what that does, it's like oil and water. It just doesn't mix. If you're not disciplined and I bring you into my world on a regular basis... Um, one or two things are going to happen. Either I'm going to take up some of your undisciplined habits or you're going to take up my disciplined habits because it's going to be either one or the other. I can't be a disciplined man and be moving in a circle of undisciplined men. I'll become undisciplined. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I can't be a disciplined man and be moving with an undisciplined woman. It just doesn't work. You're also someone who is worthy of love and knows how to love someone because you have done the work on yourself. So you're more fit to love someone, right? And more, more fit to understand your self-worth and self-value and how you want to be loved. See, because you have a discipline. You're not going to settle for less than what you have worked for. Like you've done the work for yourself, so you're not gonna settle to deal with someone who hasn't done the work for themselves. It's just that simple. This is the discipline. And you'll know how to spot the difference and you'll know how to, you'll have the discipline to walk away from something that, that, it, it, that works against what's in your best interest. So if you don't have discipline and you're not seeking it, it will disqualify you from moving um, in a positive direction. Disciplined people are successful. Undisciplined people are not. That's just the reality. Anybody you know that's successful and they worked hard and they got it from the mud, started from the bottom, now we're here. You know what I'm saying? That They were disciplined. They actually did the work. So they ain't got time to be hearing your excuses. Period. So if you don't have discipline, it disqualifies you from um, being in the company of productive, disciplined people. Just the same way as if you are disciplined, it uh, qualifies you to be around more disciplined people who can take you to the next step or next level in your life where you're trying to go because uh, they recognize you in them. They don't see you as a, th a threat to their forward movement. You understand what I'm saying? Undisciplined people, people who lack discipline, they are a threat to the forward movement and development of a disciplined person. You know, um, you're, a, you're a liability, not an asset. You take away from me, not add. You see, so that's the most important part, the social benefits of discipline. Okay? Study any self-made millionaire if you're trying to become a millionaire. If you're trying to become successful at anything, study the people who have become successful in these areas and they all have one thing in common, self-discipline. So just understand uh, discipline is the most important attribute for a man or woman to have. This is the best time to work on your discipline because there are millions of people around the world working on it right now with you. So again, um, 
I will say peace and blessings be upon you. And this month, for the next 30 days, I'm focused on discipline. Once again, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, Lifestyle Connoisseur, and these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. 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 I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.